Do you feel like you're constantly worrying? Do you feel like your worries sometimes prevent you from living your life to the fullest? This is extremely common, especially with all the uncertainty surrounding this pandemic. But whilst worrying is a completely normal experience, excess worrying, especially about trivial things, can be detrimental. Please note, this video is for educational purposes and is not intended to shame individuals who experience any of the worries listed. Instead, it's meant to shed light and offer some guidance. With that in mind, here are 10 things life is too short to worry about. Number one, the past. Have you ever found yourself thinking back to a particularly embarrassing moment? Did you notice yourself reliving this memory over and over again? This type of thinking is known as rumination. And according to Melbourne psychotherapist, Tim Hill, rumination is associated with anxiety and depression. Replaying thoughts in your head takes time away from you being happy in the present. Mindfulness and positive self-talk are examples of some ways to ground yourself and focus more on the present. Number two, the future. Whilst it is normal to think about the future, overthinking the worst case scenarios can stop you from trying things you wanna try. For example, imagine you wanna start your own business. If you considered all of the things that could possibly go wrong, this may prevent you from turning your dream into a reality. This is known as catastrophizing, which refers to thinking of the worst outcomes to any situation. And this too can affect your ability to function in the present moment. Number three, haters. Do you notice yourself focusing your attention on those that dislike you or constantly worry about haters? When you focus all your energy on those who don't like you, you tend to forget about all of those who do love you, the people who support and uplift you. No matter how good a person you are, there will always be someone who thinks that you're just not their cup of tea. If celebrities, for example, solely focused on their haters rather than their fans and passion for their work, they might not reach the levels of success that they do. The truth is, no one can be liked by everyone, and that's just part of life. It's important to focus on what you believe in and those who believe in you. Number four, aging. Are you daunted by thoughts of getting older? Does it make you increasingly worried about the future? Society can feel very competitive at times and aging can cause you to worry whether you're doing enough. However, it's important to remember that life is not a race. Instead, you can think of it as a marathon, pacing yourself with the present and making the most of the moment right here and now. Your future and older self will be grateful for it. Number five, people's opinions. Do you worry about people judging what you do? Are you fearful of people thinking negatively of you? Similar to worrying about haters, it's also very easy to get wound up in people's opinions. Whilst it is understandable to consider the opinions of others around you, getting too caught up in them can stop you from living life the way you choose. Seeking approval from someone in your life, whether it's parents, friends, classmates, colleagues, or sometimes even people you don't personally know, can often help guide you. But the most important opinion is your own. You're the one that lives your life, so do it for you, focusing on the things that make you happy. Number six, what other people are doing. It's normal to think about our friends and family when we're not with them, but if you spend most of your time worrying about what other people are doing, this can take away from focusing on what you're doing. If you constantly worry about what your competitors are doing, say your colleagues going for that promotion at work or fellow students trying to get that student body president role, you risk falling behind. Instead, it's your own actions and achieving your own goals that requires your undivided attention. Number seven, your image. Do you fear rumors are conspiring against you? Do you sometimes put on a mask to cover your true self? There's nothing wrong with being concerned with the way you're perceived by others, especially younger people. Whilst it is an intrinsic want to be part of a community or tribe, being overly self-conscious and covering how you really are can minimize your authentic self. It's when you recognize, accept, and flaunt your true self with all its flaws that you may find that you draw more people into your life who are right for you as they accept you for who you are. Number eight, money. Earning money can feel like a constant struggle and although it is important for safety and needs, it shouldn't be considered the be all and end all. In fact, according to a study by Ayala Rubio, Worrying about material wealth can cause excess stress. So instead of solely focusing on money, 
it's prudent to strive for finding avenues of making life more fulfilling along with money matters. What are some things in your life that you're currently trying to achieve? Now is a good time to start as any. Number nine, what's outside of your control? Do you dread being out of control? In reality, micromanaging every part of your life is draining and unsustainable. Doing so merely keeps you occupied, averting your focus from what's important. Instead, it's more worthwhile to give your energy to the things that are within your control and let go of the things that aren't. According to Amy Morin, creating a plan to manage your stress and practicing healthy affirmations can help you minimize worries about things beyond your control. And number 10, making mistakes. Do you find yourself always reaching for a higher standard? No matter how hard you try, perfection is a highly relative phenomenon. When you restrict yourself out of fear of doing something wrong, you actually rule out the activities and things that you wanna try, hindering self-growth. Making mistakes in life is inevitable, yikes. But the best part about them is that they help you learn and grow. So rather than constantly worrying about mistakes or the fear of making them, it's important to grab onto opportunities as they come and reflect on what you've learned from previous mistakes. So there you have it, 10 things that life is too short to worry about. Did any of these things resonate with the types of worries you have? If so, which was the most impactful? Let us know in the comments below.